Okay, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations showing you a turbo tutorial on the 1D positioner. It's a utility here, uh, actually. And um, let's just create one and see what happens. Now, this could be in 3ds Max, Maya, XSI, or Cinema 4D, or any of the, the uh, systems we have ported to, and it will work exactly the same. Don't be alarmed that I'm in Maya right now. Now, the 1D positioner is so simple that it's ridiculous. It moves this centerpiece here to the end of this cage and to the uh, back of it, uh, depending on what you push. And uh, the, the principle here is that you take this cage and you parent it, you mount it on something else so that you can move stuff relative to, for example, a car. And now, if this was a rotator, you would do, the, uh, for example, a car door. Uh, well, so you use it to, to move stuff with. And uh, the simple principle here is that you can have two sorts. You can have trinary state and integrated state. And this is how fast it uh, reacts to your, your uh, signals on the input device. And this is the maximum. So one is at the end of the cage. If it's two, then it's two lengths and so forth and here you have a maximal maximum uh, translation change limit so the it's basically that it uh, limits the velocity of the the uh, the uh, centerpiece there so let's just try out here i will bind this to my forward backwards well i will bind it to my joystick here forward that's the uh, left thumbstick. Okay, that's fine with that. And uh, let's just try here what happens when I press record. As expected, it moves forward and backwards. That's all it does. And uh, we can now change these parameters. If we change, uh, let's say we change this one to, uh, to zero. Zero means that it's immediate. So, so if I just bang, then it just immediately comes back there. So let's keep some sort of softness here. And maximum I already talked about. This one, uh, let's say we put it in on one there. Then it limits the, the maximum velocity with which it uh, can travel. So you see here it's the velocity is limited. Uh, I will increase, I will put this to zero and uh, show you what the trainer state means. The trainer state means, it simply means it goes to the end of the, the value that I, I have, like this. I push it forward and it stays there. And if I push it forward again, then it goes back. So this is good for machines that uh, have an involvement evol uh, kind of procedure. And um, well, it's usually good for buttons. Now, if we take the integrated instead and I push it forward, well, then it just continues, continues until I release it, then it stops. So it just uh, continues, it integrates the value it uh, adds the value to the previous one like that so that's all i have to show thank you very much